to my friend. <laughs> that's, all, that's all the context you need on that one. Dear person who I liked, who hooked up with me once and then pretended it never happened, brackets Ben. <laughs> it happened. I don't know how you feel towards me. I know when you see me, you seem irritated, negate the fact that I've seen you naked, but I have. Let's not be mistaken. And it was fine. You were glorious. And I was 19 at the time. I most probably didn't rock your world. I was just a girl not believing the fact that sex god you would partake in this act of intimacy with me. But you did. I thought I didn't deserve you. But, but I do, because wait, aren't you just a person too? All flesh and flailing arms, persuasive face, evasive charms, but a person all the same like me who needs and takes and wants to break some chain of pain like me? Probably. I will always be your weird encounter, clumsy hands and shitty banter, an eye of never, a, a tie to sever, a quick shag lasts just a few minutes, but... I do wear this vagina every day, and you have been in it, so <laughs> forgive me for not knowing I should have acted so nonchalantly the day after we did it. So what I'm trying to say is, from now on, can you not make anyone who you've seen in all their naked glory feel simply like a story? I'm not a story, I'm a woman, come on, you must know what I mean. I'm not a story, I'm a person, self-esteem worsened because of you, and that's not cool. And I know, I know it must seem like I care way more than I've been showing. I mean, I wrote this whole poem, but <laughs> that's not true. Just to conclude, so I don't have to waste my pen, Ben, to write a whole poem again, Ben. Take it from me when I say, Ben, your penis might be tiny, but your face is a massive bell end, Ben. <laughs> You're sincerely Lucy Burke. <laughs>